the council wanted to pause the bidding since no bids have been received. Is it easier to do that before bids are received versus once the process is finished? If this was going to pause and let's I understand if it is the bid package or the bid publication reserve the right to throw out any and all bids for any reason. Is that correct? Yeah. That's correct. So you'd have to ignore it. Once, that's once the bid process closes. Once the bid process closes. Take your question. Thank you. Can you stop it now in the process? In the question, I think Andrew, that's also yes. It's an administrative procedure. It's an administrative procedure. It's administrative on behalf of the mayor now in terms of the bidding process, but it will be legislated with respect to the decision. But if we legislate, we'd like to stop. I guess what I'm here, and that's what I'm, I mean, speaking as Roderick is working on That's when it appears that we're interfering in the administrative side. We can turn out, we can turn down all the bids that come in, but the decision to bid it and the decision how to handle the layers that do is an administrative act, and we are legislating. We're not supposed to interfere with administrative acts. Mm -hmm. Would you make it not? Okay. So this, I wish that this had come before the council and not before a committee. Um, yeah. I mean, you just know it never had to go before a committee, it never, and it's never gone before the council. We never had an RFP come before the council before it was actually put out there. You all have the right, once you, once they are all fairly evaluated, you'll get all that information, you'll get all the, the different packets, and ultimately, council could say, okay, this one scored the highest, but we want this one, or we don't want any of them. You y'all have the ultimate decision how this all goes down, which is more than any council has ever gotten in short. Okay. Let me back up for a second, Mr. Uh, Councilmember Lilly or Councilmember Harmon might be able to answer this. This email you're talking about, was that to council? At what time? What date was it? it was because today. I have no email. It was today at 503. Today at 503. <laughs> Growing restless regarding some of the failures. Talking from the standpoint of, since we are elected members of yes, the government is, of Sherwood, also. Which is why you and, and we, let, me, let me please finish. And we also get phone calls from our constituents and people that want to know the answers to. And it's very embarrassing to say I have no clue what you're talking about. Yeah. Because we're shielded from this. I mean, until I got an email on the 21st that said this went out to be it, that's the first I've heard of it. And I know you're saying, well, you had that right to do that, but we've got to work together better on some transparency Thank and some knowledge. Yeah, and it was, in, it was in your minutes from the Parks and Rec. That and we I, didn't get until last week. Well, it's on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's live streamed, so anybody can watch. What happens at any time? No, that, that is fine, in terms, of, that is fine in terms of going forward. But once again, I will say, ultimately, I am allowing the council to have the final say on all this. We got a call today from the council member who said, hey, I want to make sure that I know what's going on. I need more communication about this. So he, he had FOI requests, we had different things we had to deal with today, so he put together as quickly as possible all the information, the timeline, so forth, so that you all would have that going forward. I apologize that you all didn't have that beforehand. Certainly anybody could have contacted me and, you know, be happy as several of you did to explain it, but that's basically what's going on. I do believe your voice is important as a council member because you do represent the people, which is why at the end of the day, the council will get to make that decision. Not me, even though, and not, Parks and Rec. and not Parks and Rec, but the city council, which is not how it was done in the past. In the past, it's always been the Parks and Rec. And the mayor, who negotiated the contract. I'm trying to make sure that everybody has that transparency. That's why the packet was put out there on the website, so anybody can see it.
apparently it's not transparent at 